Okay, so for determinants, we only have two kinds of matrices that we have to take determinants of. That's a two by two and a three by three, okay? So the two by twos, we've already done it because I think when y'all were doing the Ron scheme stuff, y'all were doing the determinants, right? Um, so you may already know how to do this, but if I have a two by two, you get the matrix by cross multiplying, right? But it matters which one you put because there's a minus in the middle, right? And if you put the wrong response in the wrong location, you're gonna get the wrong determinant, okay? So you have to start from the top left like you do with the solving, right? And you go across, that gives me 35 and that gives me the first entry. Then when you do the bottom one, when you're going in that direction, you have to put it behind the minus. So that would be what, 18? And then when I actually compute that, I get 17. So the determinant of this matrix is a value of 17. The three by threes are a little bit <coughs> harder, but there is a cheater way to do it, okay? It's not how the books teach you, but it works. So let me give you a matrix here. And when we get to 8.8, .8, I promise this will come back. So it's not like this is the only example you'll see because we will have to do more determinants when we get to section 8.8. .8. The cheer way is, you know how when I went downward, right? That went in front of the minus, right? And when I went upward, that went behind the minus, right? You could do that same thing. But if I go downward, don't I have three people that I have to multiply? But when you try to go downward here, you don't have a guy over here, do you? And when you try to go downward with the next guy, you don't have anybody over there. So what you can do is you can take these first two rows and rewrite them in that exact same order. So I'm gonna put zero, three, zero, two, zero, five. So they're just extra, which is why I have them in a totally different color. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same thing that I did before. So I'm gonna go downward and those are gonna go in front of the negative. Essentially, I'm just gonna keep the signs all the same. So no matter what I get when I multiply, that response is gonna stay the same, okay? So when I multiply these together, I get what? Zero times zero times eight is zero. When I multiply these three together, what do I get? So I'm gonna keep it still a zero. And it really wouldn't matter because it's zero, right? If I put a plus or a minus. And then here, what do I get? Just coincidence. <laughs> okay. Now, when I go in the other direction, Okay, you've got to start from the bottom, okay? If I go in the other direction, I'm going this way now. What do I get? I'm gonna put a minus sign because these should be all be the opposite, right? This is like what's going behind the minus, but it happens to just be zero again, right? What about when I multiply all of these guys? It's behind the minus. It's still a zero. Again, behind the last minus, what do we get? 48, which means when I put all of that together, what do I end up with? Just a negative 48. Now, just for argument's sake, let's pretend Let's pretend that the two was negative. Okay, if that two was negative, I would do the same thing as I did before, rewrite the first two rows. But notice what happens. When I multiply these, I get zero, right? When I multiply those, I still get zero. When I multiply those, I still get zero. So the front guy is just a big fat zero, right? 
When I multiply these, I get a zero. When I multiply these, I get a zero. But when I multiply these, what do I get? Negative 48, but it still goes behind the minus. So it's really what? A positive 48. So be careful because the tendency is just to write down one sign, but you have to write down that minus because of the direction it came from, okay? Which would undo the minus, essentially. So just be careful, but that's that's, that's the big the idea, right? <laughs> for 8.4. So let me give you the homework set for 8.4. And this one, it's not a whole lot just because these are real, real short. So, and it's mostly the three by threes, but there are a couple of um, two by twos. But I really need you to practice the three by threes, okay? And you have the, at least the odds, you have them in the back, right? You might not have these two, but you'll know if you're doing them right with the other four, right? So you can kind of gauge yourself there. So it took me six minutes, sorry.